Hi, I'm making a couple changes to the Sokka Mini Max. Uh, primarily because there was, I think, a little misunderstanding as to how it works. So I'm going to try to um, explain a little more detail of how the Mini Max works. And also uh, a little bit of marketing and packaging. Um, the Mini Max, it's, it's still a Mini Max. Um, I'm not going to have just the pure Mini anymore. Um, but it will have the integral part that was the Mini that was part of the Mini Max. Anyway, all that kind of got confusing, and so I'm going to try to simplify. But before I do, um, and also some of it was packaging and stuff, there was there were some things in there that didn't need to be in there. Um, so what I've done is there was some Velcro on the tether. Uh, it actually, I think, impeded the travel of the buckle when you try to make the adjustment that Velcro uh, was in the way a little bit. It was simply there uh, for packaging and keeping things oriented and stuff, but found it really wasn't necessary. So that's been eliminated. So the uh, foundation of the Mini Max is the same as it was for the Mini. Uh, it's become much more modular now, and I'll show you a couple things that I think some of you will actually like. So the great thing about the socket is it has a fully adjustable tether so you can adjust this to your stride. It's very different. It may look very similar but it's very different than the original socket. The original socket you could not adjust the tether. Uh, it's unlike any other ascender in that um, you couldn't adjust the, the tether. So now we have this adjustable tether. Um, the, the buckle is the same. You can use a large or small buckle, but it, it clips to your foot. So it still clips to your foot. And then, you know, you can have any length. You can use it as an ankle ascender. You can put it on your knee. You can put it above your knee if you want really huge strides. So you have all that adjustment. So this is the part, again, as I, as I just showed you, this is the part that goes down to the foot and the, the climber is actually standing on. Um, the way that the mini worked, as you remember, uh, you would, I had the bungee, the, su the super stretch larger bungee, it was attached directly to the top. Now this bungee is going to be sold as a separate piece and it won't be included in the Mini Max, it'll be separate. So if you want to use it, um, you you can order that and add it to it or whatever. But so the the Mini, when you use the Mini, you some people would put it up over their shoulder, and they could they could use it this way. You know that they'd, they'd um, double it and put it down to the top of the ascender that way. Uh, there was all kinds of different ways that um, guys were using this bungee, but the point is it lifted from the uh, ascender above where the cam would come in. So you can see that the um, that the carabiner would go across the top, and when I put the rope on here, you can see that this would be lifting from the top above where this cam is. The cam intersects with the rope and then this tether goes down to the foot loop. So as the um, climber would ascend and he would take, as soon as he stepped down on it and release that, the, the bungee would lift that up and then the cam would engage. But all of that was above where the cam engaged on the rope. So with the Mini Max and everything else, I had this pin that goes in the back. It's a bolt, but actually nothing is bolted to it. It's already there. We don't put something here and then bolt this down on top of it. It's just there. So you could actually take the Mini and attach it to that top hole. And you wouldn't really do this, it wouldn't make any sense, but you could do the same thing if you attached it to that pin. If you took that carabiner and attached it to the pin, the, the same thing would be happening. You're basically just lifting the ascender up. You're not doing anything else with that. So this part gets sold separately. Now what we do is the double bungee 
guide and this is I'll show you this while I've got it out this is one thing that always kind of bothered me is um, we have we have all this extra bungee in here so that you can adjust the length of this so you can attach it anywhere you can put it on your your you know if you wanted to run it really high um, then you'd be putting it on your wrist and you'd let out all this excess bungee and then you could use it as a as a wrist if you wanted to put this over your shoulder you could do all those kind of things um, but what I didn't like was you know I see people and they'd have this excess bungee just laying around so what I've done now is I've got this little sock um, it's just a elastic sock and I'll take that excess bungee and we put that up underneath that sock so it keeps it out of the way So, so now when you see it, it, you don't have that excess laying around, and it's it's uh, right there. So the uh, double bungee was always very responsive, uh, efficient, and, and we liked that. Um, so now the, the way that integrates with the main body of the mini is that that just slides into that pin. And doesn't lock into the pin in any way. It just it keeps it where now it can lift, it can lift the ascender. It can't, it can't pull the ascender down. The only thing it can do is lift the ascender. So just like, just like the bungee from the mini was lifting the ascender here, the double bungee guide is doing the same the same thing it's basically just lifting the ascender that's all it's doing so when the climber goes up and then it releases it, it pulls the ascender up now again notice notice again that that pin is above where the cam is intersecting with the rope so it in reality it wouldn't matter if you wouldn't do this but if you turn this around let me have you zoom back a little bit if i were to turn around so there's where that pin is in the cam so now i would get the same performance i would get the same performance if i if i used the double bungee this way and used it on that pin or if I turned it and there's really no reason to do it this way but if I take this double bungee guide and it's connected to the top of the ascender doesn't matter if it's connected to the top of the ascender here or if it's connected to that bolt it's basically just a s bringing the ascender up after the climber has stepped on it so to make this function rather than pulling it up that way we basically just turn it around and now it's it's pulling it up this way so I'm going to take this off of the rope for a minute and I'll show you again so this is this is where the climber's foot is and this is where the bungee or that ascender is getting lifted up so they're they're two separate pieces now it's very modular and that's what uh, is becomes really good about it is not only is it's lifting from basically the same area above the cam as the single bungee was it also provides for a modular function that I think some of you would like